Hey YouTube, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kia and you're watching Kia's Butcher Line. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. This is the monthly closeout for August 2023. I know it is September, you guys. This video should have been out, but I got a little busy with work and things like that. So I am filming for you guys today. So I did actually fill everything out. This calendar, the weekly check-in, all of my budget sheets that I will be showing you guys. I think this video won't be as long. But yeah, if you guys are new, this is a monthly closeout video of my weekly check-ins that I do every single week, letting you guys see, letting you guys see all of my transactions that I make, um, you know, for the week and today you guys can see what I did throughout the whole month and to see if I'm in budget. So currently my goal is to have 14 no spend days and this month I only had nine no spend days. So I did make that goal, but I am still happy. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. So I normally do from Thursday to Wednesday because I get paid on Thursdays. But since it's the end of the month, I included the 31st. So I do have two children. My youngest one stays with me because that is me and my husband's child. And then my oldest son goes to stay with his dad um, for the summer. And he came home on the 23rd because I had to get, you know, I had to go like school shopping and things like that. So that's exactly what we did on Thursday. So that's why there's so many transactions. So the first one was at a barbershop called Supreme Cuts. I spent $25 on his haircut. And then went to Walmart, spent $34.17 on some socks and shirts for my son. I spent $22.41 on some underwear for myself. And then this last one from Walmart was $17. And I just got some detergent with that. Then we went to Dollar Tree and I got one thing for $134. And that was and that was a clipboard. Then we went to look for some shoes and I went to shoe show and got him two pairs of shoes for $110.50 and while we was in there I seen myself some shoes so I also got me a pair of shoes for $10.48 yes that is cheap those shoes was on sale <laughs> okay and then the last place we went to that day was at Roses and spent $29.92 and that was on a hoodie some deodorant and shorts for my son and all that came out of the school category and that's all we did for that day i was still looking for some jeans for my son and i was having a time trying to find it in this small city all right so the 25th i went to get gas at this place called atkinson and got 40 dollars there then we went to walmart and i spent 5.91 on some trash bags for the house that was unbudgeted and then we went to eat at pizza hut and spent $22 and that was also unbudgeted and that was it for the 25th. The next day on the 26th, that was a Saturday. Since I couldn't find any jeans for my son here in my town, we went to another town and um, we stopped and got gas first at Sundew and put in $41. So I went to the mall um, in this other city and it was and went to children's the children's place and spent $69.50 on some jeans, you guys. They actually had jeans in there for my son. I was so happy, you guys. Um, I normally get his jeans from Walmart and spend about $15 to $20. He is completely out of the sizes at Walmart. So I actually found some at the children's place and um, they had the sizers inside of the jeans there. And I was so happy because one size was too big and one size was too small. So he kind of had the you had to get the bigger size, but it was, you know, still kind of falling off of them. But it actually had the sizers inside of them, so I was really happy about that. So we got those, and I got him five pairs of jeans for $69.50. Then we went to a the huge Dollar Tree that's up there in that other city, and I only got two things, but, but I went in there to get my son some post-it notes and hand sanitizer that he needed for school. Then we went to Walmart to get a futon and as y'all can see that is unbudgeted we spent 243 dollars and 96 cents on a futon and we love that futon we're going to get another one we enjoy that futon it's so comfortable you guys we are all, me and my husband is always especially my husband he we are always on it <laughs> but that was it for the 26th then on the 27th we went to family dollar and spent seven dollars and 49 cents on a hoodie for my four-year-old then we went to walmart which was the last place we went to and spent 12.80 and that was on some shirts for my 
um, my oldest son. Um, so we made a second trip to Walmart that day and it was unbudgeted transaction for $14.02. I got my son some more. Um, actually, I think this was at a different Walmart. <laughs> um, these were two different Walmarts that we went to. Um, I do apologize for this glare here coming from the window. I tried my hardest to get rid of it, but it's still there. So I apologize. On Monday the 28th, which was the first day of school, we went to Dollar General and I got my four-year-old some diapers for $5.89. I got myself some body wash for $7.17. And then I got my oldest son some body spray for $9.63. And they smell so good. Y'all gotta have my boy smelling good, okay? And that was it for that week. I have three no spend days that week, which is a total of nine this whole month. Like I said, my goal is 14, but I didn't achieve that, but I'm really glad I achieved at least half of that. Um, but that is my calendar. So let's flip over to the weekly check-in. All right, so this is the weekly check-in. Like I said, I did completely fill it out, but we're gonna go over it anyway. So this week for spending, I didn't have anything in my envelope. I spent $2, which I am now negative $35 for this whole month. So gas, I added in 45, which gave me 65 in my envelope. I spent 81 and then I still have $74 remaining for the month. So I am good, doing good with gas. Take out, I didn't have anything in my envelope. I spent 22, so I'm now negative 54. I was on budget 295, you know, with probably with that futon. So I am now negative $322 unbudgeted, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move on to the monthly closeout. Okay, so here's my monthly closeout, my monthly budget sheet. So this is the income section. I budgeted or I estimated $1,360 for my husband, but he actually brought in $1,310, so I was just $50 off. I budgeted $224 for myself and I actually brought in $613.74. So I do receive social security and I just started receiving it. So I didn't estimate anything for that, but I did get $3,642 for that. That was basically back pay. I definitely brought in way more than I estimated. <laughs> All right, so with spending, like I said, I'm negative 35. I was positive 74 with gas, negative 54 with takeout, positive $3 with my water bill, and I was negative 47 with my lights. When it comes to budgeting, which wasn't too bad, I did budget $765, but the actual amount was $824, so that's negative 59. So here are all my fixed expenses which totaled to be $843 because I did mark out two of my bills that I no longer have, which is my credit card, which was paid off, and the rental building. And then with my savings, these are all my savings challenges. I now currently have $290 in my savings. And now I'm going to show you guys my budget sheet. All right, so this is my paycheck budget sheet. It includes the paycheck budget and my income. All the bills are paid and things like that. So then we have the sinking fund sheet. I did start out with $779. I ended with $858. So I did put in $79 of sink, uh, sink uh, I did put in $79 towards my sinking funds this month. Or at least that's the difference from start to finish. This is my savings budget sheet, which is just shows what I put in every time I do, you know, my savings videos and what I take out, especially when it comes to Saveopoly. And here is my expense trackers. I feel these completely, you guys. All, I only have four in here and you guys, almost all four. And you guys should see my weekly check-in and my monthly budget sheet. So if you guys are interested in any of these budget sheets, please feel free to check out my Etsy shop I now have available for you guys. All these budget sheets are $1. These are like the old copies <laughs> where the lines is not straight and things like that. And you won't have these little, you know, the decorations that I have because I added that on. You know, I glued those on. If you guys know, you know. But make sure you check them out and support your girl on her Etsy shop. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have been enjoying those Shop With Me videos. And I will talk to y'all for the next one. Bye.